And that's why we're going to talk about the Ethereum layer number two, Hermes. Very interesting. So, so yeah, so that's my only heartburn is that they don't have engine coin on, on Coinbase that I could purchase or I could hope. It's very sad. But guess who does? Gemini. Yes, Gemini. So I'm moving to Gemini. Now, enough about Coinbase. Moving on. Let's talk about a new article that I read about Ethereum Layer 2 Network. This is called Hermes. Yes, they give them names. <laughs> um, this Hermes uses ZK rollups and it's live. If you're in the space and um, following Ethereum blockchain developments, you would know that this has been in the works for a while and it is focused on reducing the cost or the gas price of moving Ethereum or ERC-20 tokens anywhere there is a price to pay. Therefore, we're looking forward to reducing those costs. Um, so what does that mean to me and you, right? If we're investing, if we have some type of interest in investing into some Ethereum-based uh, project or transferring tokens, then the ZK roll-up, which is, like I said, this is what that Ethereum, that layer two scaling means, then it maintains the state of all transfers. And that ZK rollup, it helps to maintain on the second layer, right? When you have stacks, right, there are layers, and this one is the second layer. And the ZK rollups, they only need the validity proof. Instead of all transaction data, they just need the one, that one. And so what used to happen is you have to have all these confirmations. And so all these different players are saying, yes, 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 validate, 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 validate. Whereas now you only need one to validate that transaction. With ZK Roller, validating a block is quicker and cheaper because less data is included in that validation. That's powerful, right? So that's, that's what's up with the ZK Roller. Um, there's some other ZK rollups and there's something else called ZK snarks. Um, I'm not as familiar with snarks, but I mean, Hey, we can both figure this thing out. Can't we? Um, let's say a snark, a snark, let's say one definition of snark. Uh, they're short for <laughs> succinct, non interactive arguments of knowledge. Wow. Um, let me say that again. A snark, S-N-A-R-K-S, -S, is short for succinct, non-interactive arguments of knowledge. Wow, this is interesting. Um, wow, that's going to take a whole nother session, just so you know. Yes, Vitalik Buterin, uh, you know, brilliant guy. Uh, he comes up with these things. I'm just not my, my area of expertise. But what I know is he does have a Ethereum layer two called Hermes. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So it says like this, right? This article talks about the Ethereum layer two, which is like I said, reduces cost or gas prices. If you've been trying to move Ethereum in the last few days, the prices are crazy. The price to move a thousand dollars worth of Ethereum could easily be a hundred and hundred and twenty dollars. Believe me, I know. I was just trying to do it. Um, or if you don't put enough gas price in there to move your Ethereum, guess what will happen? It will still take your $80 because it wants 100 takes 80 and then it will it will say it runs out of fuel. It's, it's a very like, oh my gosh. And you won't know that. It will fail and then your transaction doesn't go because it takes your $80 because you should have put 100 in there. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, so anyway, it says the develop means the, the Ethereum layer two, uh, when it talks about Hermes, this new network, right? It says the development means Hermes's mainnet has been launched and the users can now make transfers at lower gas costs. People should save around 90% on gas costs with Ethereum or ERC-20 tokens. And that's like, wow. So what does that really mean to you and, and me? The current average gas fee is about $16 per transaction. With around 90% savings, the cost would come down to about $1.5 per transaction. Whoa, 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 
sixteen dollars down to a dollar fifty are you kidding yo sign me up right now besides lower fees Hermes also has a higher throughput than Ethereum it can process more transactions per second Ethereum's current throughput is about 15 transactions per second. Now, that is, wow. Um, now, we understand that Ethereum is not the monetary transaction of choice, right, for digital currencies. So when we say digital currency, we're talking Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, Ripple, because they're fast, right? They're competing with the Visas and the MasterCard type transactions. Ethereum has never been in that class. So when it says 15 transactions per second, it's okay. Don't get alarmed. That's pretty good. But now, when you add the Hermes layer to it, they say that it can multiply the capacity of Ethereum by 100 times. So now Ethereum, even though it's not, it's more of a utility token, utility project, utility blockchain, versus a payment blockchain, then it's still going to be up there in the running with that 100 times faster. Now, that's pretty cool. Um, and with the snarks, you add those in there, and now you can process 500 transactions per second. Um, so yeah, they're they're getting they're getting it's, the competition is heating up. Put it like that, right? You know, over the last year, um, Ethereum increased the ROI by uh, 1,000 over over 1,400 percent, whereas Bitcoin ROI was right about a thousand percent. You know, so so we got to think about things like that. But anyway, if, if you want to, you know, learn more about that, we can. We'll have another, uh, another, another, another episode about that. So, um, but yeah, I'm not going to read all this. But you know, I, I'm I'm going through the article, and I was really fascinated by some of those things. Um, but anyway, it goes on to say that um, one of the first projects to integrate with Hermes is Tether. You know, and we know Tether USDT, right? Is is pegged against the dollar uh, to give it a little more stability and and so they said that um, with Hermes mainnet launch Tether's USDT stable coin is available on the network so besides the USDT Hermes is initially is also supporting Ether obviously Off, uh, additionally it's supporting uh, wrapped Bitcoin WBTC DAI DAI which is another stable coin um, like the dollar or you know competing with the price of the dollar keeping it stable uh, and the Hermes token so there's a Hermes token that they actually have created as well which you know kind of makes sense which is HEZ that means anyone using these tokens can now use the Hermes network to make transfers to make transfers therefore if you're using regular ether regular gas you may get about 15 transactions per second but if you're using the Hermes layer 2 ethereum gas you may get 500 transactions done in a sec so i think it's worth your time so we will add many more tokens that uh, they say very soon so those right now are the only ones but they're adding more and more and more just like any other project but hermes is open to any erc20 token which is so many of them that's uh, part of the DeFi you know project the decentralized finance which is a heavily erc20 token but when you get into the nfts you know the non-fungible tokens that are really uh, run uh, brought into the light and supported by engine coin which is yes dear to my heart then we know that that more or less runs and completes its process on an ERC 1159 token. Totally different, different, you know, strategies there. So anyway, they close it out like this. During the upcoming weeks, we need to fine tune some of the parameters, and we hope to have very soon a fully decentralized governance system. So the objective is peer-to-peer, -peer, open source, no government interference. Hey, let's uh, let's keep this thing where it's supposed to be outside of the control right of the ones that have taken control and basically screwed up everything well, anyway that's my wrap up hey this has been episode two of blockchain speaks you can find me on blockchainspeaks.org i'm gonna go ahead and get this posted up one day over there but right now enjoy it where it is um you, you know the deal you know the drill this is the place to be for blockchain bitcoin ethereum all things altcoins like I said, those are good things, but 
I'm definitely not at the level of some of these altcoin buzzes, you know, Bitcoin Boy and uh, Altcoin Daily. Those are like king of the king of the hill. Um, but yeah, this will get you started. So thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again. All right, peace.